Harris writes, hey there, movie talkers, love the show. With Apocalypse appearing in the next X-Men movie, Thanos showing up in Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers 3, and Darkseid rumored to be the main villain in Justice League, do you think it might be confusing to some audiences, being that all three of these comic book baddies look strikingly similar to one another? Thanks and keep up the great work. You know, it's funny because I hear this quite a bit. It's like, oh, Darkseid and, and uh, Thanos and whatever, they all, they all kind of look alike. And honestly, I, I see it in the chin. I, maybe it's just I've been reading comics too long. I really have never had a problem distinguishing between, especially Apocalypse. Apocalypse mm. is, is the most <clears> unlike <throat> the two. If you want to just talk about Thanos and Darkseid, there, there are some design similarities, but I have personally never had a problem looking at an image and knowing, oh, that's Thanos, or oh, that's Darkseid, or certainly not for Apocalypse. So I, I don't think so. Um, I think Thanos, and I think we, we got this from the end of, of Avengers, I think Thanos is going to be quite colorful. Mm -hmm. Uh, we already see that, um, and Darkseid is not, <laughs> mm. a, a, like at all. They're big, brooding, very square lines kind of design characters. I, I get that, but honestly, I, I've never had a problem distinguishing them myself. But I don't know, Alicia, you ha don't have the comic book background no. that, like, say, Schnepp and I do. Do you find a problem distinguishing yeah. between the characters? They're really confusing to me. Really? Okay, they there you go. They all look the same. They all look like, get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Super villains, get off my lawn. Why Super are you order, crazy kids. Uh, I just don't know enough about their backgrounds, not having read comic books when I was younger, to know the difference between them all. But I'm sure that the movies, like Marvel always does, will set them up properly over several movies, so by the time they get their big flashy movie, I'll understand. But right now, yeah, I'm totally confused. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, well, coming from the super comic nerd background, like Jack Kirby created Darkseid, and he actually kind of was like almost normal size. He wasn't always this thick granite right. giant uh, character that um, Jim Starlin created Thanos, and he always had this giant body. He always had this massive look. Um, he almost has like kind of a, a scrawl chin, so to speak, yeah, you know? Yeah. So those characters were different, completely different. They both obviously had like the I want to own planets and, you know, like take over and own the world and mm -hmm. own the universe. So those, that's the similarity with them. Um, Apocalypse, he's also a totally different character, you know? I mean, I, I, I see most supervillains as like, you know, they have an issue. You know, most of it's like I want to. Uh, you should just you should just listen to me. Yeah. It's kind of like I don't understand why you aren't just listening to me. You know, so I, so whether <laughs> yeah, kids. yeah, it's not just the lawn; it's the whole planet. Yeah. So that's kind of the, the crux of it. They don't they, them looking a little similar. It's just kind of I think it comes from the giant, the bulk size of them, how mm. they all look now, and also the kind of brooding, square shaped, dark face with a weird chin strap. Mm -hmm. So maybe one of them's got to lose the chin strap. <laughs> yes. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.